You know what's cracker, guys? When families get together, families get together, and guess what we're catching in Parramatta River? We're catching prawns. Can you believe it? We don't need to buy bait. We're catching prawns in Parramatta River. Come on, guys, get one. Let's show your prawns in the bucket. Move your hand, move your hand. So, so far, look at the prawns we've got. Ready? Guys, how are you? Fishing is amazing. We're with the family. I know we're only at a wharf, but it's still fun. Um, little Jacob here, Jakub. We caught some prawns. Come over here. Where would you think in Parramatta River you would catch prawns? But we caught them, and we caught them just off the wharf. So what we're going to do with Jacob's rod, yeah. we've got a little little uh, long shank hook. We've got his fresh prawns, only about a minute old, guys, a minute old. So we're going to put this prawn on, and hopefully get a flatty. Oh, was that my rod? Yeah, I think so. That was my rod, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to... Cast this out and see if we can get it. Here's young Jacob here. He's the man. He outfishes me. We are going to get some nice brim on it. Stay tuned. Now, so Jacob's got this little prawn that we caught. I showed you the other prawns. I just want to show you guys how to put them on. Now, you can use like any long shank hook. So you grab the prawn, beautiful fresh prawn. A live prawn, I should say. And just go from the tail. Right, very important and push, push it around the hook, okay? Now bring it, and when you do that, you push down like this, and push that end bit, because it's a bait holder. Push the end bit down. So what's gonna happen there, look at that. Look at that, that's gonna go into the water. That's all right. That's gonna go into the water, and it's just gonna sink down, and it, it, does, it does it itself, okay? When you see, when the fish sees that, he's gonna gobble it. So let's go. Let's go, mate. Let's go. Your finger is over the thing. <laughs> You're the worst photographer. I love you. What? Hello. What prawn are we going to use? <laughs> wait, wait. Let's, let's show the viewers how small this prawn's going to be. Look, look. Wait. It's tiny. Let's see what we can get with a small prawn onto a small hook. Okay? Let's go. <laughs> All right, Layla. That's it. That's the way. Beautiful. Put it in. Yep. Yep. That's it. Let's go. Yeah. We will we'll use it as bait. Look at this. Come on. Turn it over. Yep. They're coming. They're coming. Who would have thought Parramatta River would produce their own bait? Look at that. Amazing. Yep. Oh, it's only a little. That's a little one. Little Jewy. Oh! oh that's right. oh, that's that's little Jewy, but that's what? Three tonight? Is that three? Yeah. 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 They're not big, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Did they get off? Sell on? I hope. Always because I'm using the Abbeys. I think it's a brim. Brim? Bring yeah. Maybe. That's the best one. So, uh, what is it? What is it? Oh, it is. Yes. Bring I wanted a whiting. Oh, a whiting. I wanted the whiting. I wanted the whiting and I got the whiting. Oh, yeah, God. they're here. Oh, beautiful. Is that beautiful? All whiting. Yeah, whiting. Oh, my God. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Let me film. Film, yeah. Where's he going? We're taking him over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Live prawn, mate. We're going to get live prawns. Come on. Six pound line. <laughs> six pound line. Yeah, six pound line. Good catch. It's been a great night, guys. A great night. Good catch. Let's go on home to dinner. Oh my God. That's a well to take this. Get the pliers. Get the pliers. Hold the camera, camera. What are you filming? You're not filming properly. Hold. Film properly, buddy. All right, let me get the pliers, mate. To fish in to bloody me. put a lot in the lineup. No, it's like it's one like... meagle. Nah, it's not one meagle. Well, let's have a peek at this bloody. Oh, oh you're the cameraman tonight, champ. Oh, look, he just took it. This, look at this little hook all night. 
Little hooks. Oh, it just snapped on me. The hook. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, his jaw came off. I'm so sorry. Oh, hold on, his jaw came off. That is bad. I'm sorry, buddy. Looks like a bloody lure. Oh, <laughs> see how rough they are? What's that? It's his jaw. Jaw? Jaw off. Film properly, buddy. Don't worry about that. Why am I not filming properly? Oh, 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 his tail came off! Now his tail came off! What's going on? This this thing is Parramatta special. He's lost his tail. Oh, he's, he's aggressive. He is aggressive. Come here. Hold on. He is too aggressive. He wants to go in the water. Yeah, yeah. Should we save him? Yeah, I think so, man. Let oh, no. him go in the water. Yeah, look, he, he, <laughs> he's going to... Sorry, yeah. mate. I'm sorry that you lost your... I wanted to put you back, but... That that's what you call a war hero. A good catch. Oh, he's right good there. catch. Oh. That was a good flathead. Oh, listen to that, guys. What was the shape? What are you laughing? Wow, it's really coming down. Not really good. It's good to use graphite rods at this point. Should be alright, but. Oosh. A lot of lightning. Wow. Honestly, you'd be surprised where fish actually go. Like, sometimes they're right underneath the wharf, you know? And I've got a lot of jews like that. Use soft plastics. While your baits are out, guys, just... You'd be really shocked where you can get some fish. Honestly. All right, second rod. What a rod. This is actually a squidding rod. It's an amazing rod. It's called a Sophia BB. I just bought a um, Vanford 2500 with some really thin, thin, thin braid. It's amazing. It's just got the height on it. I love the height on it. It's really, really light. That was me. Um, so I'm just going to put the bit of, bit of fresh mullet that we got. Gonna upgrade the hook a little bit bigger than a size four, maybe. Oh, should we go the size four? I reckon we should go. Yeah, let's go the size four as well. Size four, and we're just gonna whack this, whack this mullet on. I am gonna go get some yellow tails because you know I like using yellow tail fillets, guys. Yellow tail fillets always, always does good with the brim. Give these a few ties, here we go, 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 a few turns I should say, pull on that, trusty pliers again, and I'm going to put on this little mullet, what a bait, oh, what a bait, I don't know which way how am I going to do this, maybe like this I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to go. Ready to get swallowed. Inshallah. Give it a cast at the back. Because you do get big brim in the shallows. Give that a cast out there. And see what happens. Put the drag on. Because you don't want the rod going into the water. I have lost some rods like that. And it's not fun at whatsoever. Make sure it's really secure. Kick back and wait. I'll go, I'll go. That's a brim. Let me come here. Move, Layla. A brim. Move, Layla. 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 There's no line on the other rod, so don't worry. There's no line there. Baba, give me the ob. Get the ob ready. So this time we're going to pull the bastard out. He's taking one. I don't know what it is. Okay, give me that. 
Which one? He's coming. Roho Baba, can I catch some? Let me bring that little rod in place. Oh, we got the net though, I'm so lucky. He's coming, eh? What? He's snapping. No, he's still on your line. He's coming, he's coming. He's still in there. No, he's snapping, man. No, he's on there. He's not on there, bro. Oh, no. Or he's swimming towards me. No, he's swimming. No, he's swimming towards you. He's coming. The bastard. No, he's coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh Joey. 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 Come on. Look at him. He's going to take him out. Come on, There's a big one. This is Christmas. Here we go. It's not big. You know, bring me, bring me. Oh, it's not big. Oh, it's not big. It's small, but... Oh, I know. It's not big. 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 Ah, I'm lucky. Someone needs to bring in these rods, man. Yeah. This is yeah. Joey. Bring in these rods. Yeah, bring them in. Yeah, please. Which one? This one? Huh? Yeah, all of them. It's not big. Oh, there's something on this too. Yeah, bring him in. I'm not, not on this. <laughs> on the new gear. Okay. Bloody hell, something cut the line. Yeah, it's on. Something cut it. Something cut the line. Is that on the new line? Yep. Okay, this one as well? Bring this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure? Uh, ah, no, it's alright. Yeah, it's already got head shake. Just a bit. Yeah, I'll get the tape. Right. This is coming in slowly now. Here we go. Here we go. That rod might fuck me up, bro. Which one? Both of them. This one's straight. He's gonna, he's gonna start going that way. Listen, if he's gonna go that way, turn your rod the other way around. Because I've only got six pounds on this dog. Yeah, but Mick, turn him this way, your rod that way. You're steering the other way. Let him, let him run, let him run, let him run. Let him run, let him enjoy his run. Where's the filmage? Back to it. Sorry, bro. No, it's alright. You know me, bro. I told you I'd come out of school to you any day of the week, my friend. You tell me, if you miss that right out, I'll get it out. You just take your time, guys. He's a good one. I've only got six pounds. No, he's not that good. No, no he's a good fish. It doesn't matter. It's a good fish. I'm just letting the weight of the rod do all the work. This is where it's dangerous. No. So I'm just going to set up one of my rods for the, um, go, I'm going to set this one up for the brim and the whiting. So what I've done is I've just, like I said, I've got the medium sized rod here. You know what, I'm going to explain this properly because I never ever do it in explaining. So I'm just using the, on this setup, I'm just using the Veritas, listen that thunder, what have I got here? Veritas 7.8 two piece, ultra light, you can see it there. Um, with the 3000 TP 
Twin Powers, Shimano. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got a ball sinker. How many grams is this? 60 gram ball sinker. With a, just a little bead, so when you're casting it out, that little, when that hits the swivel, you don't want it to start fraying the, the braid or anything like that. So I've got mustard, some, these sinkers are fantastic, uh, the swivels are fantastic. I don't know if you can see, because it's not much, I've got too much light on. But using braid, I've got like 15, oh, I think it's 15 pound braid. Oof, Jesus. Spin, 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 around about seven, eight times. Go back through the hole like that. Then back through the top hole twice. Once, twice. And then grab the tag end and pull it. Who? Yeah, What'd they say? Hello, security. Huh. Then you just give it a pull. And these pliers, oh my god, we haven't got any more at work, but they're just amazing, amazing cutters. You can cut line, you can cut everything with them. Look at that, just cut like a butter. I'm gonna put on some six pound. Oh, first one I grabbed, beautiful. Make it about, you know, about uh, 70, 80 centimeters long. I'll put that on. Same kind of thing, through the hole once, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back through, grab the tag end, give that a nice pull, lock that into place, and then you set. Always cut the tag ends off. Cut the tag ends off, like so. Bloody hell. Come on, Mick. Cut the tag end off. Then go to my trusty, uh, where's my, where's my hooks? Where's my hooks, Mick? Where's my hooks? sticks I'll need them in a second those sticks is a must there's me hooks I find mustard mustard or mustard or Tekken long shank size for perfect for the actual whiting uh, for the for the yabbies, I should say. So because it's got those little edges on, like the little spikes on it to hold the yabby in place. I find they do, believe it or not, they do snap pretty easy if you put pressure on them, but the catching fish is no problem with them. So, like I said, go through the hole. It's hard with these gloves on. It was spin, 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 spin. Go back through the hole. Hold the tag end. Give it a nice pull. And that's it. Cut the end off. Now, we're going to grab a yabby. Is that my rod? Sound like my rod went off. I'm going to take these gloves off. I'm gonna get my hands wet. Oh. Oh. Okay, now where's this hook? Now, when putting on the yabbies, wish we got more yabbies, I don't have enough yabbies here. Yeah, me too. I just wanna go right from the top bit. There's like a little hole, it's weird. It's like a hole through their body. And you just go through the back end of it all the way down and just clip it in now that is just going to stay on there and it's a beautiful bait for mostly any kind of fish really anything really takes them besides kingies do sometimes but it's just a cracker bait for 
whiting for brim, jewies. I'm going to give that a cast out and um, God willing I'll get a hopefully the whiting are around. It's a bit early so they could be giving it a big cast because here I like to go a bit far out. Let it sink down, put the drag on, give it a couple of winds, get it into place, put it somewhere where it's not going to fall in the water. That's locked in, put a glow stick on it, and then sit back and wait, mate. Marge, the rains are definitely out, so I'm going to do some plastics. So I've got a few rods out. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try to get some platters and juice on plastics. Let's see how we go, eh? Yeah. Film it up. Oh, where's he going? Show him, Baba. Show him what he's doing. And then show the rod. Show him. Yeah. Oh, who saw his brim? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Who's oh. brim? Well, 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 well. What a stunk of a brim. What a brim. That's a nice brim. Oh Look at the hump God. on the back. It looks like it got smashed by something years ago. Wow. He would have been caught in the net or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah hold on. That's a nice brim. Bring it in. Oh, it's a big brim.